What is going on everybody? Resale Rabbit here. I know it's been a long time since I've done a video. I've been really busy, but you've got this one and one more tomorrow. And that might be it for a little while again, but so here's what I've been up to. It is currently probably the day this video came out. It is, uh, it is December 10th. I had to read some messages there. It is December 10th of 2019. Um, I have a second warehouse now. It's only for a month. I rented a warehouse. It's right around the corner, 2,500 bucks for 30 days. Super cheap. A construction company owns it. It's full of their equipment. There's a crane in there, some bulldozers, Mercedes. Um, total handshake agreement, no paperwork or anything. I gave them a check, they gave me the key. Uh, but the reason is because my warehouse is full and I have two truckloads of product coming in in a few days, so I needed space. And it was worth spending 2,500 bucks extra for this. It was a heck of a deal they gave me. Basically one of those loads is free. Anyways, that's not what I'm here to tell you about today. Right now, I'm looking at another commercial space that's gonna be a little bit more permanent. And you guys are gonna like it. Let's go take a look. All right, they said they left it open for me. We go into this little breezeway here. You can see it used to be a home builder. Let's get some lights on here. Eh, 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 eh. whole bunch of light switches. Uh, let me turn the other lights on before I show you the rest. All right, and 47 light switches later. Boy, is it warm in here. So this place, as you saw by that, used to be a home builder. Um, they, it's been vacant for a couple of years now. Let's take a look. Here's my favorite part. So we're at the door, you come in, and here's what you see. We got a nice fireplace, gas fireplace here. I just turned it on, so it'll take a little bit to warm up. Nice gas fireplace here. We've got a little waiting area. Nice little sitting area back here. Here is the bathroom. It looks nice in here, pretty standard bathroom. Let's take a walk over here. Janitor's closet, we've got a little sink. Um, that, that's about it. By the way, all of this furniture may be staying here. Um, everything that's in here, just about. Uh, so, how nice does this look? Good big oil painting of me above the fireplace, but it's a double-sided, I suppose triple-sided fireplace. We got lights up here. Uh, and then it moves on into here. Uh, white carpet, not a fan of that. We got a nice break area. There's no sink, but you got a little mini fridge in here. Uh, Keurig set up, which I would probably keep set up for customers. Um, I don't even know if there's anything in here. Uh, some odds and ends. So cupboards set up. I would put a water cooler here. We got a nice little window so we can see out the door there from back here. Uh, continuing around, we've got a nice big showroom area over here. We got a window looking outside, some stacked stone on the wall here. All sorts of stuff, TV and everything. Some of this furniture, this is a big L-shaped desk. Uh, which I might take, well, it says take, so I don't know what that means. But like I said, it's been quite a while. This may end up in my office. I might bring this back to the warehouse if we do get the furniture and put it in my office. Um, I've been meaning to look at this. I forgot to look last time. All right, I was making sure, because this would obviously come down. I've got no use for this TV here. So I wanted to make sure it was still the stone behind it. Uh, but nice big, you got a whole bunch of different lighting up there air conditioned, and then we've got this set up. The two-tone is odd. I don't know if it's meant to look like that or if that's just to show the different styles that they make. I'm not a huge fan of that, but I'd probably take this out anyways. It'd be a shame because it's so nice, but I really don't have a use for this here. Uh, so it's definitely a very nice place. Let's take a walk. I can't get through there. Let's take a walk back over here. Uh, so we're back in this room. Back to this. Uh, looks like they had door samples there. We get an office right here. Uh, decent size office, actually. Nice uh, desk and everything in here. A little window to see outside. Uh, really nice woodwork in here. It was a home builder, so they did it really nice, despite the mismatched tile up there. Uh, but they did it very nice. But this isn't just the exciting part. Let me show you my favorite part about this place and why I am heavily considering this. By the way, the price for this. It's about 1,500 square feet, they want 1,500 a month. Let me show you my favorite part. So this room, you wanna know why this room is my favorite part? Because behind that wall, behind that wall 
is my warehouse. That's right, the eBay area is behind this wall. If you watch my videos enough, you remember um, there is a big wooden hutch with drawers in it. I've done some shipping videos there. That sits probably about where this panel is. And then if you go further back, you've got a metal cabinet there. Whenever I'm getting cords and cables, it's on this shelf. Over here leads to my main warehouse. You might remember by the fire door, there's a little uh, closet that goes into this bump out. That window looks a little familiar. It's just like mine. So here's the story. Uh, this part that we're standing in right now, this, everything up to the stack stone there, this used to be my warehouse. And before I moved in, maybe six months from what I understand before I moved in, they built that big plywood wall up and finished this area to be part of this office. Well, they have, they have since moved out. I think they went out of business or maybe closed this location. Uh, so this has been vacant. I went to the landlord and asked if I could have this space. We just rip it all out and make it a warehouse again. Then I came in and looked in here and saw how nice this is. Also, look how small this space is. You've got one office right there, a little showroom, and this. The uh, Wassa Homes, you said this is their showroom. And if you look across the way there, you'd see that was their offices and that side is rented. So this would be a very small area if they took that out. So I was thinking about renting this space as well. So what we would do, we'd leave that wall up because this is too nice to just rip the whole thing out. Um, we would take out this wall and basically extend this room back. It would be about triple the size. It would go back almost to the bathrooms. The eBay area would be moved and the uh, physical business that I have on this property will be in here. And then JLN Distributing will take up the main warehouse on the other side of that wall. And we'll move eBay kind of back where my office is. Uh, we definitely get rid of this carpeting. We get rid of that carpeting and cover up the concrete in there. And hopefully we can match this. If not, that'll have to be replaced run it all the way through. The other thing, so Nolan, the guy that works for me, but Nolan's office will be here, which is nice because ah, when he's sitting at his desk, right there, that is how far when he sees customers come in. It's a little problematic now because you know how far away the offices are from me. Looks like there might've been a roof leak up there. Is it wet? Oh no, that's dry. That must be an old one. We had a couple of roof leaks recently. Now, here's another thing that I'm considering. Look at that fireplace. On the other side of this wall is my office. So my office is just beyond this wall. This is about the center of my office. My desk starts right about here and goes back that way. Oh, I just stabbed myself with this. Um, so I'm thinking because I want my office Sorry, that might've made you dizzy. I want my office to come out by this fireplace, especially up here with this side of the business and then have my office accessible from the other side of the business. I'm gonna be very jealous of Nolan with his office. I was thinking about entirely removing this back wall. So it's completely gone. Get rid of the sink, replace this, the floor in here, basically extending this all the way through here and into my office. So this becomes part of my office. It's gonna be a bit of a weird shape, how it's this little narrow thing and then it just opens up to my office, especially since this is in the middle. But I think I can make it work. I've got a couple of lateral file cabinets I could probably put here, um, make it seem a little bit more normal. Um, I haven't decided if we would open this entire wall up or have a little wall there and have it almost like a doorway. I don't like that idea though. I want to make it look as seamless and nice as possible. That way I can come right out to the fireplace. If the furniture is not included, I will definitely try and buy these because this looks really nice. These are very comfortable chairs. Uh, just sit down, put my feet up, get my work shoes on and just look at the fireplace, sit here with my laptop, uh, take a walk over here. I can set up my laptop here and work. Might get a little bit nicer of a table than this little thing. But it's definitely, it's nice and I'm very excited. The other thing, so we have customers come in here periodically into our warehouse. You've seen how messy it is by the door because you have the loading dock, the at grade door and the entry door over there. I hate having customers come in there, it's such a mess. Now they're gonna have a nice finished area to come into. It's gonna look so much more professional. 
and people are going to love it. So that is my thoughts. So basically, knocking out that wall, extending it back, finishing the area, and replacing all of the floors. We'll keep this if we can match it, but if not, all the floors will get replaced. Except maybe Nolan's office, because we don't have customers coming in here. It wouldn't be that big of a deal to keep the carpet. But honestly, whose idea was it to put white carpet in a commercial space? Seriously. Uh, the other thing we would need to consider is um, internet. I would like to have wired internet in here but can't really do that because it's gonna be an extra 170 a month since it's a separate suite. So I'm gonna call Spectrum and see if they can run it uh, as the same account and not charge me any extra. I doubt they will. Another option is we really only need it uh, back in the warehouse portion back there, which we already have a connection there. That's not a big deal. It will be part of this room, but it's in the warehouse now. So we're really only gonna need it here. We might be able to get away with Wi-Fi because Wi-Fi will easily reach. But this wall backs up to the area where all the clothes are. It's kind of a common area in the offices. Uh, it backs up to that. So we could theoretically have a networking guy come in and just wire it into this. Maybe wire uh, a cat cable that's on the other side right into here or something. Uh, because it's really just here and there. There's really no other place that we need internet in here, a wired connection. So that's what I'm thinking. There's no reason to have this TV here. It would be in the way, so that would come out. So that's where we're at. I know you guys have seen a lot of the same thing multiple times, but I'm really excited about it. These track lights will probably come out because there's really no need for them. Um, and you know, we're going to be tripling the length, you know, the cost to install new ones. Don't really want to deal with that. Um, what else? I think that's about where, where we're at here. So we'll be setting that down. This carpet tile will go with a hard floor. We'll get rid of this. In fact, this might be what I put out there. Uh, we'll get rid of this. If we're getting the stuff with it, this man up in my living room, what size is this TV? Uh, let's see, usually it says on the back here somewhere, model number six, that might be a 60 inch TV, I don't know, uh, I've got a 55 at home and I like one a little bit bigger, I don't like mount TVs mounted on the wall, but I did see something while I was going through here, I don't know what I'd do with this thing, um, taking a walk back here, That's probably the stand for the TV, and that's probably the box for the wall mount. So that'd be nice. Um, so another thing we'd have to deal with is potentially getting stuff like this out. Now these are all probably perfectly good faucets. It looks like they just come off the wall. So honestly, I might be able to sell these faucets. I might have three, four hundred bucks here in faucets and towel bars and stuff. So I might have an outlet for it. And then the display, I don't know what I would do with this. Um, It'd be too nice to just throw away. I don't know. Maybe you guys can come up with some ideas. Same with this. Uh, worst case, I'd probably give these doors to the Habitat for Humanity store. They're nice doors and they're brand new. Well, some of the doors are nice. But uh, you never know. <laughs> Maybe we can use them. Uh, because we will have the two spaces connected with a double door on the new part. But that's kind of the plan. I am really excited about this. And the reason I wanted to upload this video now rather than wait and have it go in line with all the others is because I think you guys are really going to like to see this. Uh, I know I am. So that's where we're at. One last look at the fireplace over here. Man, just imagine sitting here getting some work done. You know all my, net, all my YouTube videos will be filmed right here. You know all the videos where I'm sitting in my office talking? It's going to be filmed right here. Although that stupid fire extinguisher is in the background. Um, but this will be where I'll have him filmed. Maybe I'll set it up on a tripod like right here. Uh, uh, now the fire extinguisher is gone. I got to have some cool videos where I'm talking a lot there. It's actually a really comfortable chair. So anyways, that's where I'm at now. Um, it's just... Q4 is really busy. That's why I haven't been doing a lot of videos. It's Christmas time, the holiday season, after the first of the year. You can expect to see a little bit more uh, regularity, but uh, maybe I'll have some extra time to get a few more up for you. 
but I do have this one that you're watching now and one more ready to go for you. So hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.